Hello, and welcome to Explorida Adventures. Today, we're visiting Peanut Island, Florida. Now, the name Peanut actually comes from a plan to build a peanut oil refinery on the island in the 1940s. The plans were canceled, but the name remained, even though the island has a vaguely peanut shape, I guess, if you squint. For most of Peanut Island's history, the Coast Guard have been the sole inhabitants on the island. Coast Guard Station, established in 1939 to rescue boaters in distress and perhaps hunt the odd German submarine if the situation arose. In 1990, the island was turned over to the city of Palm Beach and established as a park. After John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960, he would spend much of his time away from the White House at his Palm Beach estate. The threat of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union was, in Kennedy's own words, a sword of Democles hanging by the slenderest of threads, capable of being cut at any moment by accident or miscalculation or by madness. Which is to say, war could break out very quickly. The threat of so sudden a conflict sparking plus South Florida's proximity to the Soviet Union's ally Cuba, led the Navy to construct a secret fallout bunker for the president behind the Coast Guard station. The bunker, Coast Guard station, and boathouse are all maintained as a museum today. In addition to these historic treasures, Peanut Island also boasts a protected lagoon for swimming. Sandy beach frontage around much of the island designated areas for camping, fishing, picnic pavilions, charcoal grills, restrooms, and a walking path around the 80 acres of the island. Visiting Peanut Island is as easy as finding a spot to park your boat along its coast or kayaking to the island. The boat slip here on the western side of the island also offers easier docking but you'd better get there early, as it's usually the first to fill up. This is the eastern side of Peanut Island. The sandy, lifeguard-monitored beaches here are protected from boaters by these rock mounds. Boaters can anchor in the shallow waters here and wade or swim ashore, however. This is a popular choice, as most of the island's amenities are located right here on the eastern side. This eastern dock offers more prime boat slippage and is also the terminus for the Peanut Island shuttle boat operating out of the Riviera Beach Marina. This shuttle offers those of us who do not have access to their own boat a way to travel to the island. The shuttle runs every 25 minutes and is $12 for adults and six for children aged six and under. Be warned, however, alcoholic beverages are not allowed on Peanut Island. So those looking to imbibe have taken to anchoring in the shallow sandbar to the north of the island, where a more raucous party atmosphere for adults is common. Many boaters will dock their boats together, creating a multi-boat party platform, or as many of them like to call it, a floatopia. These gatherings are so popular that some businesses have begun catering to them by having amphibious stores that can travel right to where the action is and bring you what you need. You are part of a Floatopia or simply making new friends out on the sandbar, always remember to drink responsibly. There is a regular police presence both on the island and patrolling on the water, as some of the revelers out on the sandbar have been known to get a little, shall we say, wild. So whether you're chasing down history, looking for a fun family day in the sun, or looking for a sandbar party, it's safe to say Peanut Island has what you're looking for. Just remember to wear lots of sunscreen. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Explorida Adventures. We'll see you next time.